my name is Jonathan Chandler and welcome to the Virginia School of Traditional Arts. Today we're going to be doing some engraving on this rifle. Uh, we've already got it completed so we're going to show you how we did this. Of course the first step with any firearm project, or anytime I pick up a firearm, we remove the magazine and we clear the bolt in this case clear the action. So this gun is good to go, nothing in the barrel, and now we're safe to start. Uh, if you're doing a lot of the engraving and work up here on the forearm, the foregrip, you can remove the metal portions of the gun, but since we're just doing it down here on the buttstock, I chose to leave it intact and just protect it with some uh, padding. Um, you'll see that later in the video. Alright, here's our close-up of our engraving after it's done. We're going to take you on the, through the process today to, to see how we got that created. But uh, prior to um, me actually putting it on the gun stock, I always engrave things on a practice board like this one. And so, I like to practice before I stick it on a gun that's worth two or three hundred dollars or even ten thousand um, dollars and I like to find out what I like and what I don't like about the the situation that I've created for myself um, these this font is one I've not done before it's fairly intricate so we're gonna see what we can do with that first step of course is to get this to stick to our wood And today we're using, you can see it, Easy Tack. And this is a special Easy Tack in that it uh, it is repositionable. I think y'all can see that on there. Repositionable. That that's important. So in case you put it in the wrong place, you pull it back up, and it peels off real easy afterwards. So we're gonna we're gonna use it. And again, don't spray this over anything you want. And you don't have to get it like crazy amount on there, but I do kind of. And I'll let it sit up for just a second. And with our board, we're not going to take too much time to stick this down. But we would like it straight because we do show these practice boards to potential customers but that's that's the idea we'll get it stuck down and today we're going to be using our power carver high speed power carver like that. And I bought this equipment used you can get this used once in a while these are very very expensive items new And this is our uh, regulator here, and it has an oiler and a water a water catch on it. And it just has this rubber hose here. And you just kind of got to twist it on here sometimes. Easier than others. Uh, all right. And so this is our hand piece. Show that to you. That's the hand piece. And we've got a little small compressor that came with this with this unit down in the floor. And we have a box of bits. So that's it under magnification. It is teeny tiny. It's straight. It's a carbide tip. And the way you operate this is you take this, got a little plunger right here, you push down on that and it pushes out your old bit. And this is a round one. And we're going to set it back in the box. And by comparison, that round one was very big. And then we're going to take this take this and we've put it in there and then we're going to press it down just on a piece of wood 
until it seats. We might even use our top of our plastic box here because our wood is pushing in. Okay, that's it. That seems to be it. All right, I'm gonna get some hearing protection and some safety glasses. All right, get you know where y'all can see, hopefully. I guess y'all were off camera, but that's what we look like, the initial step. Now we're going to peel the paper off and see what it really looks like. And that's what I do like about the easy tack, it does come off. Alright, that's what it looks like initially. That just gets us our pattern on our board basically. Then we, we go back in and dress it up. Alrighty, we're going. Put this thing on the gun stock now. I've got my gun protected best I can. I don't want to scratch it up while I'm doing this. And on this particular gun, we're a little bit in a in a hurry. Got the young lady's birthday Saturday, and this is Wednesday. And her daddy was wanting this on here, but he wants to leave room for most things once she figures out what she wants that she don't know she's getting the gun right now so once she gets the gun she'll come back and we'll work up some more artwork but this is just her initials and her birthday and and what I have done on our paper I forgot to do this on the practice piece and that's a good while we had the practice piece and I took a piece of packing tape and put over top of our letters and that stiffens this paper some so that it uh, it doesn't tear up if you notice when we're doing our practice piece like where the S was was picking up and stuff it would it shouldn't it would help it do this uh, help it stay down because it's a little thicker with that tape on it Try a new, a new thing to make this letter pop. We're gonna try it on our practice piece. This is some antique um, antique finish 
fibins. It's for leather, but basically what it does is it gets down in the cracks of leather and makes it dark and stays. So we're going to try it on some wood. See what it does. And what I don't want it to do is get down in the grain of the wood and stain the wood. It's a idea. deep enough. I guess it's doing something. Doing some. Don't know if it's going to be dark enough. I like it, it wipes off the wood pretty easy. Doesn't seem to be going down in the grain of the wood that I can tell. It did better on the top letters than the bottom. All right, what I have done is I've taken a little of that dark brown um, antique for the leather and I have mixed it with some black leather dye. I like the black leather dye if I've got room enough to paint it in, but this is so small my paintbrush ain't gonna ain't gonna do it I don't think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this on my test piece here, see what it does. And uh see what I see how that works. It may be a terrible idea, we'll see. discolored the where I had put it made it darker for sure let's see what it does on the real deal here alright this is scary 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 shit. It worked pretty good. A little bit of a close up on that. I think it looks pretty good. I want to get it on my 
stuck without wiping it off for sure. Fingerprints on it or something. That looks pretty good. I think we can get you real close, see what it looks like. It certainly makes it stand out without too much effort. Painting all them little pieces takes time. Two products that I used. Formby's Professional Oil Dye and it's black. Black is in real little letters. And then, and they actually make this in black, but I don't have any right now. And it is the the antique. And what this is is basically thick dye. And when you do leather work, you make indentions in it, of course, when you do your stamping or what have you. And then you rub this in it, let it set for a few minutes, and then rub it off. Well, before you do this, you uh, put your um, some kind of resist on it. And so on our gun stock, we're going to call our our polyurethane or what have you are resist so it, I think that's a that's keeping it from going down in there too far in into the top and so on leather you would use something like top coat um, or, or tan coat rather tan coat uh, as you resist but uh, we're going to use our polyurethane on our on our stock for that anyhow we'll see how this works in the morning let it dry overnight all right, I hope you have enjoyed watching our uh, tutorial about engraving and to uh, make your engraving stand out from the stock. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Uh, you're welcome to come and take a class here at the Virginia School of Traditional Art. We could uh, give you a class on engraving or leather work or blacksmithing, knife making, cast iron cooking, horticulture, uh, most any of the traditional skills we can, we can set you up classes for. During this pandemic, we have been doing uh, on-demand classes, meaning that if you've got uh, at least two people and want a class, we can, uh, we can arrange that. And just give us a call or send us an email. You can find our uh, information for the Virginia School of Traditional Arts at the, in the uh, description below. Also, check us out on Etsy. Uh, we've got lots of new items that we've made. Um, the uh, items that you're going to find on Etsy are mostly made by me. Uh, in fact, I think all of the ones that are on there at the current time are made by me. Uh, they're all individual handmade items, no two are alike. Uh, we have lots more coming just shortly. I've just got to get them onto the Etsy, so check that out. Uh, if you want to come and stay in, uh, with us at the bed and breakfast, we run the Chandler House Bed and Breakfast. My wife does. And so uh, we can set up a package deal if you would like to take a class and come and stay um, with, the, at us, with us at the bed and breakfast. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to add them in the comment section or send us a question directly or give us a call. Hope you have a nice day. What are you doing? Go on, go on, go on, quit your licking, quit that licking, quit your licking, what are you doing?